Good evening, sir. Oh, yes, I'll call her in the morning. I'm just heading home. It is after hours, after all. Okay, I'll call her now. Why wait until tomorrow? Time should have changed since I was an intern. I catch you. What are you doing on the late shift? I'm in the IMAX projection room. They're actually letting me thread the film reel through the machine. It's really exciting, but it takes a lot of responsibility. Very delicate work. I can't talk right now. Oh, wow, that's too bad, because your next mission would have taken you to a place that's been the theme of many IMAX movies. But if you're too busy and all. No, 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 I can go as soon as the movie's over. Gotta go, Webby. Send me the details. I'll wrap this up. Sure, I'll upload them to the WoW phone now. Actually, I think I'll wait till morning. Oh, it is morning where she's headed. Mr. Projectionist? Uh, Mr. Pro Projectionist, I can use a hand or two. Uh, okay, well, think the movie's over. I can't wait for her web report. She's going to love diving down under in this wonder. Wow. Australia. Hi. Resting? Yeah. Looks fun. Can I see my pool, please? Yeah. Thank you. Dive into this wonderful mission. Hmm. Cryptic as usual. Well, I guess I should figure out what he's talking about. Here you go. Thank you. Bye. <sighs> Dive into my mission. I wonder if there's a chance that he just meant go surfing for the day. Probably not. Oh well. Is that my wow agent over there? If I'm diving into this mission, maybe I'd better find a boat. Good morning, Carrie. Welcome aboard Quicksilver. Thank you. And we're going out to the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef? That's right, yeah. No way. Yeah, it should be really fun to see all the fish and um, lots of different types of coral. Oh, wow, I can't wait. Let's go right now. You got your ticket there? Yes, I do. All right, let's go. Why isn't she answering her wow phone? Oh, she's obviously diving right into her mission and has no time to talk. I'll try her again later. Alan, I didn't quite hear what you said up there. It was a little windy. Could you tell me about the boat? Okay, we were going so fast. We were using a wave piercing technology, which slices the boat through the water so we travel a lot quicker. The boat has big jet engines, and the hulls are shaped like torpedoes that actually pierce the waves. Wow, it's so smooth, I didn't even get seasick. And in no time at all, we were at the Outer Reef, 72 kilometers offshore. Underwater observatory. Sounds cool. See what I can observe. It's kind of like a submarine. You can see underwater without getting wet. Surrounded by light. Wow. It's a whole other world down here. This is so cool. Hey there, little fishy. Shouldn't you be in school? Oh, oh wait, there he goes. So Renee, you're a marine biologist here at the Great Barrier Reef? I am, Carrie, it's an amazing job. Oh, it must be. The Great Barrier Reef must be called great for a reason, right? It must be huge. It is, it is very, very large. It's actually 350,000 square kilometers in size. Wow. Yeah. That's one really big reef. It is very big reef. What is it about the Great Barrier Reef that makes it a wonder of the world? Um, for a start, it is actually the only living thing on the entire planet that you can see from the moon. No way! Yes. Thousands of different species of fish and different marine life, sharks, turtles, 
We actually get six of the seven species of marine turtles here in the Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. So it's a very, very ecologically important area. Wow. So of course, Carrie, I hope you're going to dive with us out here in the Great Barrier Reef. It's the best way to see the reef from oh, yeah. under the water. You bet I will. So because we can't talk underwater, we've got a few signals that we need to use. Julia is my dive instructor here at the Great Barrier Reef. She's giving me a lesson in scuba diving so that I know all of the rules and regulations when I'm underwater. Safety first. Do you think you're ready to go diving? I think I'm ready. Okay. You wear wetsuits for protection when you're diving, and they fit very tightly. So, ready to go? I think so. Okay, so first of all, weight belt. Okay. Weight belt, tight. Goggles, clean and tight. Tank and regulator checked. I'm ready to go scuba diving in a world wonder. Yay! Oh, wow. I'm sure carrying a lot of weight. The Great Barrier Reef isn't just one reef, it's made up of nearly 3,000 separate reefs, islands, and coral keys. This world wonder has been around since the last ice age. That was about 10,000 years ago. Wow! This underwater world is wonderful. I can't possibly get to see all there is to see in one dive. The water is so clear, and the colors are so beautiful. There are thousands of species of fish, fish I've only ever seen in photographs. And there are hundreds of types of coral. Coral are fascinating marine life that live in colonies of thousands of individual tiny animals. They're home to many colorful creatures of the sea, and we need to protect them. After all, they're alive. Be careful, Kari. Don't touch. The Great Barrier Reef is amazing. It's also home to thousands of kinds of sponges and sea anemones and dolphins and porpoises and seahorses and sea turtles and sea snakes and frogs and, well, it's just one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. It's like nowhere else on Earth. The Great Barrier Reef is spectacular. I can't take your call right now. I'm in the middle of a mission. Please leave me a detailed message at the beep, and I'll call you back. Thanks. Bye. Voicemail again? Well, I'll leave her a message this time. Hi, Kari. It's your boss here. Not sure why you're not answering. I just need one little thing from you on this mission. A story about what it's like to dive in the biggest living natural wonder of the world. Call me. And this is my new friend, Maurice. He hangs out here at the Agent Court Reef, and he seems quite friendly and big. Actually, since Webby didn't call me, I'm not sure exactly what he wanted but I did get some video clips and photos from an underwater camera, and I got all of the facts on the Great Barrier Reef from a marine biologist. I really did dive into my mission, so it is now officially complete. As usual. Hey, Webmaster. Wow, that was fast. I hope you got a chance to open your gift by now. Isn't it cute? I didn't take it from the Great Barrier Reef because you're not allowed to do that, but I bought it at a souvenir store. It's kind of the same thing. You can look at it and hold your breath and pretend you were scuba diving like I was. It should be fun. Oh, but why didn't you call me? I was waiting for you. Didn't you get my voicemail? I missed you. And I miss going on missions. Oh, well. The job of the webmaster, stay at work. I'll just wait here for a moment. And 
go back out tomorrow and play every day with my new best friend, Maurice. I miss you, Maurice.